I'll put it in sports terms why you got fired. You were fucking with OJ too much. That's exactly why you were fired, man. Well, I don't know. That's his that. buddy. Yeah, it's his buddy. Yeah. Well, that's why you got canned. OJ's a good guy. I mean, he's not. <laughs> well. Potential jurors for the OJ Simpson case were asked to fill out a 75 page jury questionnaire this week. In the entire state of California, only one person got a perfect score. Chow Ming Wu, who after the trial, plans to attend Caltech. <laughs> By the way, you can now purchase a bronze statue of the juice for only $3,395. And for an even five grand, you can buy one that Al Cowlings has kissed the ass of. <laughs> O.J. Simpson's new fitness video was released this week, and hitting the shelves next week, Simpson's newest video, Dorf on Stocking. Uh -huh. The crowd is torn. According to retailers, the most popular Halloween mask this year is O.J. Simpson. And the most popular Halloween greeting is, I'll kill you and that guy who's bringing over your glasses, or treat. <laughs> and the Pope came out with a book this week, which contains a series of essays examining faith and morality in today's secular world, and the changing role of the Catholic Church as it approaches the 21st century. The book is entitled, God Himself Told Me That O.J. Is Guilty. In other book news, Prince Charles released an autobiography in which he states that he never loved Princess Di and that his father pressured him to marry her. The book is entitled, Of Course O.J. Did It, I Mean, Come On. In his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm going to tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you. That's probably... <laughs> you don't get worse luck than that. And O.J. announced this week that he's coming out with a new book called I Want to Tell You. And if it's successful, O.J. will work on yet another book entitled... From football to prison, my 25 years of showering with other men. <laughs> and finally, in honor of the 50th anniversary of their first publication, Random House will be releasing special commemorative issues of many Dr. Seuss classics. The first to hit the bookshelves will be Green Eggs and Ham and O.J. is Guilty. <laughs> Judge Ito was interviewed this week by a local TV station in Los Angeles, asked by the interviewer if it was appropriate for a supposedly impartial judge to be on TV with his case still pending. Ito said, maybe not, but how appropriate is it to kill your ex-wife? <laughs> It was revealed today that O.J. Simpson told police that Nicole Brown Simpson used to beat him up. He also claimed that she and Ron Goldman killed him. <laughs> O.J. Simpson's lawyers have decided to skip hearings on DNA evidence and go right to trial. Asked why they did this, the lawyers replied, we want to get O.J. acquitted as speedily as possible so he can get back to doing what he does best, killing people. Well, let's get to O.J. O.J. Simpson's lawyers say they don't want the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman in the courtroom during the trial. They're afraid the presence of the family members will just remind O.J. of how much more killing he still has to do. <laughs> well, O.J. Simpson's lawyers stopped feuding this week, finally. The Dream Team, F. Lee Bailey and Robert Shapiro, were able to put aside their differences and express their admiration for each other after O.J. threatened to cut their heads off. <laughs> According to the National Transportation Safety Board, sleepy truckers are responsible for 1,000 deaths a year. In second place, 
O.J. Simpson had two deaths a year. <laughs> it was revealed this week that defense lawyer Johnny Cochran once abused his first wife. In his defense, Cochran said, Hey, at least I didn't kill her like some people I know. <laughs> Tomorrow, Judge Lance Ito will take O.J. and the jury on a tour of the now famous crime scene. For the jury, it will be their first look at the actual location. Of course, for O.J., it will be just a case of, been there, done that. <laughs> Judge Lance Ito was happy with the juror's field trip to the crime scene last week. It went off without a hitch, said Ito. Not one murder. <laughs> O.J.'s pal Al Cowlings now has a 1-900 number. For $2.99 a minute, Cowlings will tell callers that O.J. is innocent. And for $3.99 a minute, he'll try to do it without laughing. <laughs> and this week, Simpson defense lawyers questioned witnesses about a half-melted container of ice cream found at the murder site. The Simpson defense has seized upon the ice cream for two reasons. One, it may help fix the time of the murders. And two, it was the only thing in the murder scene without any... F. Lee Bailey said this week that if the defense only knew what Ron Goldman's last words were, they might be able to find the real killer. You know, if you ask me, Goldman's last words were probably, uh, Hey, you're O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Oh, no, O.J. has struck again. How about that? <laughs> Not a good thing. And in court this week, Cato Kalin testified that O.J. Simpson did not appear angry before or after the period of his wife's murder. But Kalin admitted he could have been a touch edgy while he was actually murdering her. <laughs> Might have been a... Hertz rental car company announced this week that it will buy 520,000 vehicles, increasing its worldwide fleet 24%. In addition, they will try to find a new spokesman who won't kill his ex-wife. <laughs> this week at the O.J. Simpson trial, the infamous bloody glove was finally introduced into evidence, and O.J. didn't help his case any by blurting out, There it is, I've been looking all over for that thing. Testimony during the final week provided some spellbinding moments. In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. <laughs> And a new shocker in the O.J. Simpson trial. This afternoon, Judge Lance Ito dismissed yet another juror, a 45-year-old African-American male, for failing to tell the court that he had once worked for Hertz Rent-A-Car and that he had once held Nicole Brown Simpson's glasses while O.J. killed her. <laughs> dismissed Simpson juror Jeanette Harris revealed in interviews this week that the jury is torn by dissension and is already divided into two camps. Those who think he is guilty, and those who are really, really stupid. <laughs> A bad week for the prosecution of the O.J. Simpson trial. Under intense cross-examination by defense lawyer Barry Sheck, LAPD crime expert Dennis Fung admitted that he may have contaminated the crime scene when he accidentally dropped a big bucket full of O.J.'s DNA. <laughs> Our top story tonight, this week in the O.J. Simpson trial, after grisly photos of the murdered Nicole Brown Simpson were shown in court, O.J. turned his head away and wept. It was at that moment that he realized he would never be able to kill her again. Well, in a questionable move by the defense team this week, O.J. Simpson demonstrated how to stab two people at the same time.
Remember 12 Angry Men, the classic courtroom drama? Well, the first film about the O.J. Simpson case is in the works. It's entitled Nine Angry Black People, Two Scared Asians, and a White Guy Who Hasn't Spoken Since Rosa Lopez. <laughs> Well, the trial of the century is over. Late yesterday, the fate of O.J. Simpson, the most famous murder suspect in United States history, was placed in the hands of the jurors. They must now decide whether to free him or get all their heads cut off. <laughs> Straight to the heart. I went a long time acting like I was a bro. Get apart by you. McDonald, and now the fake news. Well, it is finally official. Murder is legal in the state of California. <laughs> Two hours after the verdict, L.A. police had their first solid lead in the hunt for the real killers. A new witness has come forward who saw three men fleeing the crime scene the night of the murders. Police have released this sketch. I would like to hear from anyone who has seen these three individuals. On Tuesday at 1.15, the moment the Simpson verdict was delivered, Court TV scored its highest ratings ever. An hour later, the channel went out of business. Well, that covers the main developments in the O.J. Simpson case this week. And after all, other important things are going on in the world. Now more O.J. Simpson. <laughs> when Simpson trial juror Gina Rodborough returned home this week, her little girls were delighted to have her back. And no wonder, she lets them get away with murder. Our top story tonight, following his shocking acquittal two weeks ago, O.J. Simpson vowed never to rest until the real killers of Nicole Brown Simpson are brought to justice. And the manhunt continues. <laughs> After initially vowing never to rest until his wife's killers are brought to justice, O.J. Simpson this week changed his pledge slightly. He now vows to have sex with hot-looking models. <laughs> Meanwhile, this week, O.J. took girlfriend Paula Barbieri to see the erotic murder mystery Jade. Other moviegoers took the couple's presence in stride, though they did become uncomfortable when O.J. repeatedly shouted out, shouted out you call that a stabbing? That's... <laughs> Simpson had been discussing marriage with girlfriend Paula Barbieri, but reportedly she has called the wedding off. Her fear was that if they married, she would be brutally murdered. <laughs> and then, and then someone would try to pin it on OJ. The L.A. District Attorney's Office has given Marsha Clark and Christopher Garden, Christopher Darden, bonuses of over $10,000 for, quote, lengthy hard time duty, unquote, in the O.J. Simpson case. A spokesman for the D.A. said that the prosecutor's bonuses would have been even higher, except for the fact that they let a killer go free. <laughs> According to a report out this week, O.J. Simpson is still extremely angry that Robert Shapiro began writing a book while he was defending the football legend. However, Simpson is extremely pleased that he got away with killing his wife and that waiter. <laughs> a down-and-out O.J. Simpson, depressed that all of his money-making ideas have failed, has decided to go back to doing what he does best, killing people. <laughs> Thank you.
In a surprise move, O.J. Simpson has offered to give an interview to CNN with, quote, absolutely no ground rules. But interviewers Greta Van Susteren and Roger Cossack have asked for one. Don't kill us. <laughs> In sworn testimony this week, Paula Barbieri admitted that she had broken up with O.J. Simpson the very night Nicole Brown Simpson was killed. Boy, that had to be a tough day for O.J., huh? <laughs> First he gets dumped by his girlfriend, then Colombian hitmen kill his wife. <laughs> Man, that's... You gotta... In an effort to raise money for his enormous legal bills, O.J. Simpson this week began marketing a video which attempts to prove his innocence. Should the tape not sell, Simpson has a backup idea, his very own video of the actual murders themselves. <laughs> This week on NBC's Dateline, three members of the Simpson jury explained their not guilty votes and argued that if Simpson had killed his wife, there should have been blood stains all over his gate, front door, and light switches. Also this week, Simpson friend Al Cowlings released his video, How to Get Blood Stains Off Gates, Front Doors, and Light Switches. In his civil court deposition this week, O.J. Simpson denied under oath that he ever punched, kicked, or slapped his ex-wife, Nicole. Oh, great. As if O.J. isn't busy enough tracking down the real killers, now he's got to track down the real wife beater, too. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. And in Brentwood, O.J. himself was spotted manning a lemonade stand with his daughter, Sydney. Asked by reporters why sales were so poor, O.J. replied, beats me, and then he went back to cutting lemons with a giant knife. <laughs> a new development in the O.J. Simpson civil trial this week, according to sworn testimony, Nicole Brown Simpson had told her therapist that she was afraid of getting beaten by O.J. Simpson. Asked why he didn't report this earlier, the therapist said, I was afraid of getting beaten by O.J. Simpson. <laughs> I said, getting beaten, and that may have hurt a little, little. According to a Senate committee on violence, Denise Brown has done more to bring attention to the cause of battered women than any other person. Well, almost any other person. <laughs> Once again, O.J. gets a short shrift. In Los Angeles this week, Lyle and Eric Menendez were found guilty of first-degree murder. So, to review California law, it is killing your wife, legal. Killing your parents, illegal. <laughs> a shocking new development in the O.J. Simpson case. Late this afternoon, a high-ranking official in the Los Angeles Police Department admitted to Geraldo Rivera that the police did conspire to frame O.J. Simpson for the murders of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. However, they called the conspiracy off when they got to the murder scene and found that O.J. really did do it. <laughs> While in England, where he spoke at Oxford University, Simpson had defended actor Marlon Brando's criticism of Hollywood Jews. Later, from his island hideaway, Brando sent O.J. a telegram which read, you're not helping. <laughs> Arriving back in the U.S. after his week in London, O.J. Simpson was asked by a reporter why he hadn't spent Mother's Day with his children. A visibly annoyed Simpson replied, Idiot, I didn't spend Mother's Day with my kids because I killed their mother. <laughs> Well, more O.J. Simpson news. <laughs> On Friday, the Juice officially endorsed Bill Clinton for president, adding, adding, quote, I'd like to help him any way I can. <laughs> to which the president replied, well, there is one thing.
In Los Angeles this week, the defense suffered a setback in the second O.J. trial, when Simpson was ordered to turn over a secret videotape, which lawyers say contains proof of his guilt. What's on the tape? The first O.J. trial. <laughs> Finally this week, lawyers in the new O.J. Simpson trial actually found a prospective juror who claims to know nothing about O.J. Simpson, the murders, or the first trial, and who told the court, quote, I don't even know when it started or ended. Unfortunately, the man had to be disqualified when it was learned that he had been a juror in the first O.J. trial. <laughs> During a recent interview on 2020, longtime O.J. Simpson friend Robert Kardashian said he now believes Simpson may be guilty. Though he did add that had he believed O.J. was guilty at the time, he never would have agreed to hide his bloody clothes and knife. <laughs> at his civil trial in Los Angeles this week, O.J. Simpson attorneys began their case with an attack on Nicole Brown Simpson's character. Outraged Brown family lawyers responded, quote, Nicole is a victim. No matter what she did, she certainly did not cut her own throat. To which Simpson's attorneys replied, On the contrary, that is precisely what we intend to prove. <laughs> At the Simpson civil trial this week, O.J. and Fred Goldman got into an explosive shouting match. Mr. Goldman bellowed at O.J., Don't give me that damn look. While O.J. shouted back, I wasn't even looking at you. You're just mad because I killed your son. <laughs> Against the Jets last week, Buffalo Bills running back Thurman Thomas broke O.J. Simpson's career rushing record. And the week before, he surpassed Simpson in career touchdowns. Next up for Thomas, an attempt to kill three people at once. <laughs> O.J. Simpson was in a different courtroom this week, attempting to regain custody of his two children. In order to prove to the court how much he loves his kids, O.J. pointed out, quote, Hey, they're still alive, aren't they? <laughs> this week in Los Angeles civil court, an FBI expert testified that shoe prints left by the killer, exactly matched shoes belonging to O.J. Simpson. In response, O.J. stood up and exclaimed, Wait a minute. Wait a doggone minute. I just figured it out. The real killer is me. <laughs> According to researchers in Australia, koala bears have fingerprints so close to those of human beings that they could easily be, mis be mistaken by police at the scene of a crime. It should be noted, however, that the research was funded by O.J. Simpson, so... <laughs> Our top story tonight comes from the O.J. Simpson civil trial, where this week it was revealed that in his first interview with police, Simpson had refused to take a lie detector test. His reason? It detects lies. <laughs> This week at the O.J. Simpson civil trial, the focus shifted from the defendant to the alleged character flaws of Nicole Brown Simpson. Attorney for O.J. hammered away at her lifestyle, citing sexual promiscuity, drug use, and the fact that she married a double murderer. <laughs> Meanwhile, Simpson defense attorney Robert Baker argued that a dark spot in a crime scene photo was a, quote, mystery shoe print suggesting that there were actually two killers. O.J. hopes this will support his theory that he did not act alone. <laughs> In dramatic testimony this week at a civil trial, O.J. Simpson said he didn't commit suicide only because, quote, my mother told me you don't go to heaven if you kill yourself. Oddly, his mother did say, quote, it's okay to kill other people. It's... <laughs> In a unanimous verdict this week, a Santa Monica jury found O.J. Simpson liable for the wrongful deaths of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman, awarding the plaintiff's damages of eight and a half million dollars. Reacting to the verdict, Simpson insisted that he has nowhere near that amount of money and that his only remaining asset is 30 pairs of Brunei Mali shoes. <laughs>
The announcement of the verdict came toward the end of President Clinton's annual State of the Union address, and to many observers, completely overshadowed the event. Even the president was distracted during his speech, waiting to hear exactly how much it costs to kill your wife. <laughs> Our top story tonight, this week at the civil trial of O.J. Simpson, the jury, which had earlier found him liable in the deaths of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson, this week tacked on an additional $25 million in punitive damages. On hearing the news, Simpson declared, quote, this is far from over. Asked to clarify that statement, O.J. said, quote, I'm going to kill more people. What do you think I meant? <laughs> The first place in Weekend Update's most romantic Valentine contest goes to David Delaferra of Kearney, New Jersey. Yesterday, Mr. Delaferra, who works as a fireman here in the city, climbed the ladder of a fire truck up to the third floor office window of his girlfriend Alexandra. There, with a dozen roses and a wedding ring, he proposed to her in front of all her co-workers. Congratulations, David. And coming in last place for the third year in a row, O.J. Simpson. <laughs> At a book signing in New York this week, Fred Goldman once again offered to forget the millions owed to him by O.J. Simpson if he would simply admit to the Brentwood murders. A visibly annoyed O.J. responded, Why in the world would I do that when I have no intention of paying you anyway? <laughs> More bad news for O.J. This week, Harper Collins reached an agreement with the Brown family to publish his late wife's diary. Especially troublesome to Simpson is this final entry. Dear Diary, I have to run now because O.J. is here to murder me. <laughs> and also the guy who returned my glasses. I think he might murder him, too. <laughs> also this week, a California newspaper revealed that O.J. Simpson was awarded custody of his children mainly because a court-ordered psychological test showed that he is a loving father. It should be noted, however, that the same test also showed that he was a loving husband. <laughs> According to O.J. Simpson's niece, Terry Baker, when O.J.'s mother, Eunice Simpson, first heard about the slaying of Nicole Brown, she exclaimed, he did it. Reached for comment, O.J. said, my mom was just guessing. I hadn't even told her yet. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, O.J. himself may have some explaining to do for months. He has denied hiding financial assets, including valuable sports mementos, from the Brown and Goldman families. But earlier today, Simpson pal A.C. Cowlings was stopped as he tried to leave the country. In the backseat of his Bronco, police found O.J.'s Heisman Trophy, disguised with a tiny fake beard. <laughs> More bad news for O.J. Simpson. This week, a Los Angeles court ordered him to turn over his Heisman Trophy to the Goldman family. In addition, the same court may order Simpson to surrender a coffee mug inscribed, World's Greatest Husband. <laughs> More followed from the recent conviction of British au pair Louise Woodward on murder charges. This week, her attorney, Barry Sheck, lashed out at the legal system, saying, quote, what kind of sick society do we live in where an innocent girl is sent to prison while a double murderer like O.J. Simpson goes free? <laughs> kind of a... In a statement with profound legal implications, the FBI announced this week that for the first time, its experts can now identify an individual with 100% accuracy through his DNA. And really, when you think about it, the timing could not have been better, said former football great O.J. Simpson. He was good on the gridiron.
there's a phone call here. Here I have a phone. Right, let me see now. Who would this be? Hello? Hey, Norm. What's up? It's OJ. OJ. Hey. Hi, OJ. Hey, what have you been up to? I just got back from the movie. Oh, the movie. What would you say? Beautiful girls. Oh, yeah. Be oh, yeah. Who's in that again? Oh, you know, Uma Thurman, Lauren Holland, Mira Savino, Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell's in Beautiful Girls? <laughs> I know, Norm. I was none plus myself. Anyway, there, Juice. Hey, uh, how's it going with the, uh, you know, the, the manhunt there for the, for the killers? Oh, no, don't ask. Uh, not good, huh? Uh, that is an understatement. I'm no closer to finding the real killers today than I was when I started. It's like they vanished into thin air. Oh, well, give it time there, O.J. You know, it can't be that bad. Oh, believe me, it is that bad. Sometimes I feel like I might as well shut down the whole investigation. Oh, come on now. Hey, did anything ever come out of that lead you, uh, you picked up there about the shadowy figure leaving the crime scene? No, um, you're not going to believe it. It turns out that was me. <laughs> uh, well, so I guess that's a dead end, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, hey, how about that guy that was seen running back to your house by uh, limo driver Alan Parks? Oh, guess gonna... what? That turns out that was me also. Oh. <laughs> well, what are you going to do, huh? Nothing you can do. Sometimes you just have to laugh. Anyway, Norm... <laughs> While I have you here, I was going to ask you a favor. Oh, yeah, sure, Juice. What is it? Well, I produced a video dealing with some of the inconsistencies in the evidence, and I've been having trouble getting the 800 number out on the airwaves. Really? I'll, uh, I'll put it out. Okay. That would be great. It's 1-800-555-0165. Oh, okay. That's 1-800-555-0165? Uh, right. 1-800-555-0165. 0165. Okay, 1-800-555-0165. Okay, uh, hey, what's the video cost there, OJ? Was it like 100 bucks? Oh, no, it's 29.95. 29.95? Good Lord, that's nothing. Yeah, well... You're practically we're... giving it away. We're trying to price it so that the average person can afford to buy it. Well, OJ, the question is not can the average person afford to buy it. The question is can the average person afford not to buy it? Well, we think it's a quality video. Well, the price is certainly right. Hey, uh, let me ask you a favor, uh, O.J. Can I give out that number one more time? Sure. Okay, then. That's 1-800-555-0165. Right. Okay, Norm, I'm going to let you go. Okay, Juice. Hey, take care, buddy. O.J. Simpson, everybody. O.J. Simpson. O.J. the Juice. Well, in a sworn deposition this week, O.J. Simpson claimed that he never, ever beat, choked, or hit his ex-wife with a closed or open fist. Luckily for O.J., lawyers forgot to ask if he'd ever cut her head off. 